This video is about joining paths in Illustrator on the iPad. And this came from a question that I thought was a really great question and definitely worthy of a video. Thank you, Esmeralda, for your question. Uh, normally I like to film my hands so you can see my movements, but I've got some stuff going on at my house right now. So I'm just making this quickly directly from my iPad. All right, so to begin, I'm gonna use the pen tool. We've talked a lot about the pencil tool, but the pen tool is just a totally different tool that allows you to just tap and tap and tap and place anchor points. And then if you tap and drag, you can drag out a curve handle, tap and drag, drag out another curve handle like that. So it's a different tool, but um, let me go ahead and delete this shape that I just drew and come back here, get the pen tool, and tap once and then tap again to create one line segment and then to let go of the pen tool and discontinue drawing this one segment i just double tap uh, my finger on the barrel of the apple pencil and then i'm going to tap once and tap again to draw another line segment so what we want to do is connect these two line segments and I'm gonna use the second tool here. This is the direct selection tool that allows you to select anchor points. So we can see on this currently selected path, the anchor point on the right is selected because it's blue, and the anchor point on the left is unselected or deselected because it's white. If I tap on this point, I'm selecting it. And you can see it turns dark. To select multiple points here, I'm just gonna use this direct selection tool and drag a marquee out. And now you can see I've got those two endpoints in the center and they're now selected. To join them, I'm just gonna use this icon in the center of the common actions bar. This joins the endpoints. So I'm gonna tap on that once and you can see Illustrator puts a line segment between those two open endpoints. So this is kind of the default way that it works in Illustrator on the desktop and Illustrator on the iPad. So this would be great, but let's say you're working on something technical and you're doing something really precise. You probably don't want an extra line segment in the center. One way to deal with this, and I'm just gonna tap once on the artboard to deselect this line or this path, and then tap again to select that one anchor point. I can go ahead now that it's selected and tap on the Smart Delete icon here, and I just tap once, and that removes that anchor point. And Illustrator does its best to keep the shape of that line segment, which is pretty basic here in the case of this path. So with those steps, we've created a join and removed the extra segment. All right, now let's look at another example. And here we have straight segments and curved segments on each of these paths, and we wanna join them with no gap in the middle. And the trick here, and this is the same thing in Illustrator on the desktop as it is on Illustrator on the iPad, and that is that those two anchor points need to be absolutely perfectly aligned one on top of the other. And if you're able to get that, then what happens is that join will not add the extra segment in between. So right now I've got those two anchor points selected so when I tap on the join icon, I can see it goes from a round smooth point to a square corner point. So something has definitely happened there, whether or not this is perfectly aligned and we don't have that extra segment remains to be seen. So let me see if I can select one of these anchor points and move it. And right now I can't, I'm tapping and moving and I'm moving them just by slight tiny little amounts, but I'm not able to get in there. Let me try zooming in. If I zoom in, you can see Illustrator put that extra segment. There's actually two anchor points here with a tiny little extra segment in between. But those two anchor points are so close together that I can barely select them and Illustrator won't really let me move them. I'm just sort of stuck like this. So how do we get two anchor points perfectly aligned so that we don't have this extra segment created when we join them? All right, so I'm back at the original paths unjoined and let's take a different approach. I'm gonna go up to the upper right hand corner and there's an icon here with an eye and some anchor points in it. And this is the view mode. So right now we are looking at this in the default, which is preview mode. So you can see the strokes and the colors and all of that. But if I 
tap on outlines and we go into outline mode. Now we can just see the paths without any appearances applied to them. So it'll be easier to see what we're doing here. And then I'm gonna go down to precision, this menu on the right here that allows us to turn on snapping, grid, and guides. I'm just gonna turn on snapping and that has smart guides turned on as well. So don't check snap to grid, just have smart guides turned on. All right, now I'm gonna close the precision panel here and then select one of these. And let me go and get my direct selection tool instead of the selection tool so I can get the anchor point. Well, first, actually, I want to move these closer to each other. So I'm gonna use the regular selection tool for that. And you can see while I'm doing this, the smart guides are lighting up and sort of letting me know that I'm on the right path there. Let's see, maybe I got too close. Let me go back here. All right, and then with the direct selection tool, I'll zoom way in and see if I can, oops, it looks like I, I just tapped there and I accidentally converted that to a corner point. Let me click undo in the upper right. Let me just click and drag and then drag back to see if I can just let those two anchor points snap together. So I'm just doing that like that. And once I have them together, I'm gonna marquee select. So I'm hopefully getting both anchor points in this selection. And then here's the join command here. And oh, by the way, I didn't mention this before, but let's just take a look over here in the path panel here. We, we also have the same command over here. So you can do it from either place. I'll tap on it over here from the panel and now we've got what I hope is a join. Let's see, I'm gonna tap on the artboard and tap on that point and move it and it looks like it's working. So that's great. Let's zoom out here. And you know, if I wanted to, this is a, a smooth point now, we can tell that because it's a round anchor point. I could convert it to a corner point. We can see it's actually just one anchor point. Let me undo that. I'm going back up to the upper right corner and we can move these curve handles just to prove that this is actually a join that has occurred without an extra segment in between. And then I'm gonna go back up to the upper right hand corner here and put us back into preview mode so we can see that. All right, so there it is, how to connect paths by joining them in Adobe Illustrator for the iPad. And if you want more videos about Illustrator on the iPad, Illustrator on the desktop, and other Adobe creative subjects, be sure to like and subscribe and follow me. My name's Laura Coyle, and I'm an Illustrator and Adobe Illustrator instructor.